Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. No matter where you are and no matter the time, it's devotion time with Miss T. Hooray! In our devotion time today, we're going to learn about love and what it means to love. Love one another. And we're going to read from 1 John chapter 3, verse 10 to 18. As one of Jesus' closest friends, the Apostle John had lived alongside the Son of God. He had witnessed Jesus' life and teachings with his very own eyes. Now, some 50 years after Jesus had returned to heaven, John was an old man, but he knew who Jesus really was, and he wrote a letter to help believers understand that Jesus was and is the Son of God. John's main message was about love. God is love, and if believers truly love God, then we will also love one another and that love must be shown in what we say and in what we do. Jesus said that people who are God's children live differently than people who are not God's children. Believers should do what is right and they should love one another. This is not a new message. Jesus told us to love one another John wrote that others will know we are Christians because we love each other. John wrote, Do you remember Cain and Abel? Why did Cain kill Abel? Cain killed his brother because he was evil and his brother was good. Cain hated Abel. So do not be surprised if unbelievers hate you. People who do not love others are controlled by the power of death. God has set us free from the power of death. He has loved us and has given us life so we can love one another. We know what love is because Jesus showed us. He laid down his life for us. We can and should love like that too. When we have something that our brother needs, we should give it to him. If someone has enough to help, but turns away and does nothing, does he really know God's love? Children, we must not just talk about loving others. We must love them by our Actions. Love, 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 love. <laughs> Everything is about love. One of my favorite scriptures is John 3 16, and it says, For God so loved the world that he gave us his only Son. God is love. He created us because he loves us. He created us to love us. And one day we will be with him and we will enjoy his love forever. So John here, one of the disciples of Jesus, after Jesus had gone back to heaven, was writing to the people around him and trying to teach them about how Jesus wants us to live. Jesus wants us to live a life filled with love love for our brothers and our sisters and everyone around us. And there was no one else in this world who exemplified the life of love like Jesus did. He talked about Cain and Abel, and I know you remember that story. Cain killed his brother, which was very sad. But he did that because he hated his brother. When we do not live a life of love, we do things to hurt others. Remember Joseph and his brothers, they sold him into slavery because they did not love him. They hated him. 
So many bad things have happened in this world because people hate each other. But when we embrace the love of God in our hearts, we are kinder, we are nicer, we are more patient, we are gentle, we are self-controlled, just the way Jesus was when he was on earth. So how can you tell you love someone? Is it by just saying it? Oh, I love you. I love you. I love you. If you say you love me and I need something you have and I ask you for it and you don't give it to me, does that prove that you love me? If you say you love me and you see me crying, do you come and give me a hug and comfort me or you just walk away? Does walking away show that you love me? If I'm sick and in bed and you say you love me, do you pray for me? How do you show that you love others? You show you love others by the way you treat them and what you do for them. Love is patient and love is kind. Love never gets jealous of other people's stuff, no. Love shares and love gives. That's the kind of love we should have for everyone around us, whether they are good to us or bad to us, whether they are mean or they are nice. Jesus wants us to love everyone around us. Let us pray. Dear God, you showed us your love by giving Jesus to us. We want to show others that we love them by how we treat them. And we know that sometimes it might be very difficult to love those, especially those who are mean to us. But Jesus, lots of people were mean to you and you still died for them. Give us the strength to love everyone around us, whether they are nice or they are not. In Jesus' name, amen. And one more thing, Lord, help us to show we love others by our actions and not just our words. Amen. Thank you for joining me for today's devotion time. I know that you love me because you are watching Devotion Time. You're spending time to watch Miss T. And I love you too by sharing the word of God with you as much as I can. And I hope that you go out there and show the world what it really means to love. Not just by saying, I love you, but by doing things that prove we really do love. So until next time, take care of yourselves. Bye.